Let me go, man. Let me go. I'm going to kill him. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Take my damn jersey off and do it myself. I'm going to go and stand at the back of the pile and just kind of stand here. <laughs> this one's brought to you by DraftKings. We had some beef between the Orioles and the Blue Jays, or I think personally between Baker and and Teoscar, the night before, they had an at-bat. He got strike one on the slider, strike two on the fastball. Owen, two, misses the fastball, just yanks it. You see it go to 100 miles per hour. Then bounces the slider. I think that's a changeup. Three and two, goes back to the slider. It's a bad one. Teoscar drills it to center field for the home run. Take a 3-2 game, make it a 4-2 game. Bam. Gone. He didn't really pimp it. Baker, sad about it. Ah, uh, high five. Baker, ah, uh, goes to the dugout, puts on the jacket, has a little bit of Blue Jays fun. So that's what happened the night before. The very next day is where this action picks up, where Baker is on the mound, and now Teoscar's at the plate. There's runners on the corners. He goes first pitch slider again, but it's a ball. He's going to come back with the same pitch. This time he executes it just how he wants it. One and one's the count. He's looking for the double play or an out fastball. So that's the same as the night before. Slider for strike one, fastball for strike two. Now he's got him two strikes again, and he yanks the fastball again. Tasker's saying, we did this already. You're doing the same thing. It's 2-2 two -two now. Are you going to go to the changeup? And he does. It's the same formula as the at-bat, except... This time, instead of the home run on the slider, he gets the ground ball double play. He's excited about it, although a run does score to make it a one-run game. And Tasker's walking back to Doug, and he says, uh, yeah, yeah, what up? And Tasker's like, well, hey, what? We scored a run. What? It's like, all right. I mean, yeah, it could have been worse, but I don't know. This guy's clapping. That guy got a ball. Matt Chapman's up now. Last out of the inning. Strike one. Ooh, change up, strike two, oh two. What's he gonna go with? Getting mad about something in his head. Just like get himself fired up. Looks in, oh two, yanks the fastball. Seems to be something Baker does every now and then. And then controls it, 99 top of the zone. So really nice pitch. Looks at the dugout, says, Yeah, keep talking. I heard you. I heard. Yeah, you. Keep talking. And then rookie catcher is gonna get him. Look, look, look at the dugout. Look at the king of the coolers on the left here. Posted up. The king of the coolers, and then you see this coach. He's going to dart out. The Orioles come out, and he says, uh, "What do you keep talking that shit? Keep talking that shit. So that's the Orioles' side of things. They came out. Now, the Orioles' dugout cleared because look at the Blue Jays. For a pitcher that said keep talking after a strikeout, there's more stuff going on here, but, I mean, look how many Blue Jays got so upset by this. The manager runs out in front of everyone. And everyone's running out. Even Kirk on the top. Looks like he's got a head on a fake body. Oh, my God. Look at Kirk's head on his body here. That looks like one of those those old, like, greeting cards you would send your... <laughs> Whatever. Right, move on. Okay. So, they're so upset. The Blue Jays are so upset. Mateo grabs Teoscar and Vladdy, who are so fired up, they get held back by two. Meanwhile, you know, the rookie rushman walks Baker back. He's like, come on. We're good. Now, Mateo has brought Vladdy and Teoscar all the way back. They're basically just want to be held back more than go forward at this point. But then they're, they realize they're so far back. They're like, shit, this is kind of a bad look. We got to get more forward. And then they're going to act like crazy. We're going, we're going, we're going just to stay at the back of the pile and do nothing. And then Odor comes and he's like, nah, get back. Now Springer's pushing him back. I mean, he ditched his jersey to sprint out there. Vladdy, what are you doing? You're not really mad. Otherwise, you'd be out there. You're just trying to project madness. I don't... I don't know. All of this is nothing. Baker's in the dugout looking at his pitches. He's like, damn, I didn't think... I didn't think that was going to be that. And then, this is uh, Tasker looking at him. Saying something, you know, I see you. Come on. Yeah, come on. And he's like, all right, dude, my bad. Shit, sorry. Didn't know all that was going to happen. Then they got to clean up the field because look at, there's just too many people standing around. We get some quotes after the fact that maybe give more insight. Not really. Baker wipes his face off. He's just chilling. 
Uh, Teoscar, he's got to find his jersey. Odor finds his hat, puts it back on. Got his jersey. He's going to get dressed, wiping his face off again. Worked up a sweat. Vladdy trying to figure it out. Ump's trying to figure it out. Like, what was all that? And then in the post game, we're going to get some quotes from both managers and both players. And it doesn't really shed light on it, but kind of. I think Big uh, pitches with a lot of intensity. Anything is pumped out. He is a big strikeout, and sometimes he lets it. Uh, it out so classic manager response not going to throw anyone under the bus just say hey pitches with a lot of emotion it's competition at the highest level it happens blue jays manager goes a different route i didn't understand why brian baker was looking into our dugout after giving up a run on back-to-back days that guy's bad he gives up runs he's not allowed to talk shit i don't think it was a teo thing i think it was baker looking into our dugout like he has every time he's pitched against us since we um he, since he wasn't part of our team. Since we uh, traded him, since we uh, cut him, since uh, since he wasn't part of our team anymore. And I think our team reacted. Uh, I'm not quite sure. You know, I know emotions run high for a guy that used to play for another team. So I think our guys were standing up for our own team. Um, we had no problem with anything he was doing, and we're going about our business. Really? I didn't understand why Brian Baker was looking into our dugout after giving up a run on back-to-back days. Baker looking into our dugout like he has every time he's pitched against us and we had no problem with anything he was doing. Sounds like you've kind of cataloged it as a problem. And we're going about our business. Now, let's go to the players. Just a, just a disagreement. Um, just something that got taken too far. Um, and uh, probably shouldn't have come to that. But, uh, yeah, it was just a... A disagreement with with uh, Tay Oscar, who I've I've played with before, um, and then uh, yeah, just came a little, just went a little bit too far. So he's saying it wasn't just shit talking between teams; it was specifically with Tay Oscar. I guess he was mad because yesterday he uh, hit a homer. Uh, every time he pitched against us, it was he just tried to to make a show. But I was I not even paying attention to whatever he says. Again, you are. Blue Jays, you can't get so upset and then say, but we're not paying attention. We don't even pay it any mind. 20 of you jumped the railing at the same time for a guy going like this. You're paying attention and you mind. And it was it was nothing towards their team or anything. It was just it was just kind of letting him know that I know that he's, you know, talking. And pointing at me and saying that I, that I was talking too much, but I wasn't talking. I wasn't saying anything. Were they yelling at you during the inning? No, I don't think so. No, I, I like I said, I was was part of that organization. I know some of those guys. Um, I have no problems with them. Didn't hear anything negative at all. Just uh, just a personal problem that uh, I probably should have handled a different way, but just kind of came out. And then he started walking, and I just react. You surprised that it ended up being you know bringing everybody out? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, I, especially just knowing just knowing Tay Oscar, um, I didn't really you know want to provoke him to run and try, you know try to fight at all um seemed like he kind of wanted to do that but i you know it's really just a respect thing um and just me just letting him know that, it, that i know that he's talking so that's that's really about it it's really weird because he i mean we saw tasker didn't say anything during the game on this incident and then baker admits yeah they weren't talking and nothing was being said during the game my best guess i could be completely wrong here is that Teoscar was talking shit off the field in like a group chat or something after hitting the home run, and that got back to Baker, and he's like, I just wanted to let him know that I heard what he said. And just me just letting him know that I know that he's talking, so that's that's really about it. It seems like they was off the field talking, and the Blue Jays are saying no one's talking on. I have no idea. None of this adds up. A guy went like this and said, keep talking to a guy who didn't say anything on the field. And then the Blue Jays reacted like he said something horrible. So n- nothing nothing really adds up. We don't have all the information. And um, Blue Jays, you care. You have to stop acting like you don't care when you're one of the teams that cares the most about this shit. You can't continue to say you don't care. And then you have dugout clearing altercations once every two weeks. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. I appreciate that. Football's here. Baseball's really kicking off September, October push. 
I'm excited. Let's do it. Thanks, DraftKings.